Now to a developing story that we've been following since Saturday. Two people were killed and two injured after a driver going the wrong way on the West Park Tollway crashed head on into a private ambulance. KPRC 2's Devin Clark is following the latest in the investigation, including what happened moments before that crash. Devin? Lauren, investigators now saying that they got several 911 calls within a matter of minutes before the crash that happened just by that 65 mile per hour sign. They say that it's likely the crash happened just moments after a wrong way driver got on the West Park Tollway. Two people are dead and two others injured following a head-on collision just before the Fondren exit on the West Park Tollway East. Precinct 5 Constable's Office investigators say they got four 911 calls starting at 449 Saturday morning that someone was driving the wrong way. At 453, investigators say they got a call that there had been a major accident. They say two people were traveling in a Chevy Equinox the wrong way and hit a private ambulance, killing one person from each vehicle. The ambulance did not have any patients inside. Based on the location of the crash and time between calls, investigators believe the Equinox driver may have gotten on the tollway through the Fondren exit ramp. There are sensors on the ramps to inform authorities about wrong way drivers, but investigators say no alerts were sent. Precinct 5 Constable's Office officials say that ramp sensors are tested once a month and sometimes twice a month. Right now, they're looking into whether the sensor malfunctioned or if the wrong way driver got on at some other point. The names of those involved in this wreck have not been released. We know that authorities have asked toll world officials to comb through video to see if they can pinpoint exactly what went wrong here. We'll keep you updated. But for now, reporting live on the southwest side, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.